Hello, my name is Carol Mandel and I'm President of the Science Council. It's my great pleasure to welcome you here today to celebrate this year's Science Council CPD Awards. I've been incredibly inspired hearing about your learning journeys and your commitment to your own continuous professional development and seeing how CPD, particularly in the interdisciplinary space, can foster peer learning, creativity and great new ideas and solutions. I'm an astrophysicist by background and an academic, and I've often worked in an interdisciplinary way in the physical sciences. Most recently, however, I spent three years on secondment to UK government, where I was the Chief Scientific Advisor at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. In this role, I saw the true excellence, breadth and depth of our UK science ecosystem. And it was really that science system that I was able to draw on to formulate the best possible scientific evidence base to give to my policy teams and my ministers, and also to project UK excellence worldwide. We are an incredibly well-respected science nation. And it was very humbling for me over the last 18 months, particularly working on the Science Advisory Group in Emergencies, to see the incredible work across the whole of our science ecosystem as our colleagues work together in an interdisciplinary way to find a solution for this devastating virus. Today, we're fortunately able to access our vaccines and to start to get back to some kind of normality because of science. So I celebrate all of your achievements today. I hope that you will celebrate together and that you will also encourage other colleagues to develop their CPD journey and to maybe apply or be nominated for next year's awards. The Science Council is truly interdisciplinary and cross-disciplinary and it aims to bring that science ecosystem together to help you to network, to help you to share best practice and help you to learn from one another. And today is a real celebration of that continuous professional development. Of course, we must work in this innovative way, cross-disciplinary, if we're going to solve some of the biggest global challenges facing us today. This week has seen COP26, the Global Climate Conference being held in Glasgow. And I've been very, very inspired and hopeful by the amount of science and technology that is being discussed there in a hope to find a solution to keep global warming to below 1.5 degrees Celsius, a goal that we all must get behind. So let me end by saying a huge congratulations to our winners and our commendations. I know your family, your friends, your loved ones, your employers and your colleagues will all raise a glass to you and say well done for your journey. And I hope that you will be incredible role models and inspire our winners and commendations for next year. Thank you. <laughs>